Apollo 11 launched from Cape Kennedy on July 16, 1969, carrying Commander Neil Armstrong, Command Module Pilot Michael Collins and Lunar Module Pilot Edwin Buzz Aldrin into an initial Earth orbit of 114 by 116 miles. 2 hours, 44 minutes and 1.5 one and revolutions after launch, the SIVB stage reignited for a second burn of 5 minutes, 48 seconds, placing Apollo 11 into a translunar orbit. On July 19th, after Apollo 11 had flown behind the moon out of contact with Earth, came the first lunar orbit insertion maneuver. On July 20th, Armstrong and Aldrin entered the lunar module again, made a final check and at 100 hours 12 minutes into the flight, the Eagle undocked and separated from Columbia for visual inspection. At about 109 hours 42 minutes after launch, Armstrong stepped onto the moon. Partially piloted manually by Armstrong, the Eagle landed in the Sea of Tranquility. About 20 minutes later, Aldrin followed him. Commemorative medallions bearing the names of the three Apollo 1 astronauts who lost their lives in a launch pad fire and two cosmonauts who also died in accidents were left on the moon's surface. Armstrong and Aldrin spent 21 hours 36 minutes on the moon's surface. After a rest period that included 7 hours of sleep, the ascent stage engine fired at 124 hours 22 minutes. Docking with Columbia occurred on the command and service module's 27th revolution at 128 hours 3 minutes into the mission. Armstrong and Aldrin returned to the module with Collins. Trans-Earth injection of the command and service module began July 21st as the surface propulsion system fired for two and a half minutes when Columbia was behind the moon in its 59th hour of lunar orbit. Following this, the astronauts slept for about 10 hours. Re-entry procedures were initiated on July 24th, 44 hours after leaving lunar orbit. After a flight of 195 hours, 18 minutes, 35 seconds, about 36 minutes longer than planned, Apollo 11 splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, 13 miles from the recovery ship USS Hornet.